Hi guys, welcome to this Photoshop tutorial. Um, in this video, we're going to look how we can add lighting effects after the event. Because we've all done it, we've got a picture, it's great, we think, I wish I'd just been able to get a little bit of light down there, or perhaps a highlight around them stairs. You know, if they hadn't have been in the middle of a building, there was people everywhere, if I'd actually had a light, so on and so forth. Well, the good news is you can, to a, a degree, add lights after. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new layer. On this new layer, I'm going to take a brush, foreground colour to white, and it doesn't really matter the size of your brush, but just give yourself a reasonable start and a very quick dab. We're then going to change the blending mode to overlay. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to change that opacity just a little bit, say around about 80%. Now if I press Ctrl T on this layer, this is our paint but as you see as you move it round because it's set in overlay mode it actually acts like a light so we said we wish I had a highlight there so I'll put that one there press enter it to accept that now if I want another one all I'm going to do is control J to copy it control T to transform and I'm going to drag this one somewhere in the middle there I'm going to make it much much smaller I'm just going to put that one about there press return to take that change so if I click these on and off, you'll see the light here, that's on, and off, and the one in the very centre, off, on. I can turn both of those back on. And I'm going to make one more, Control J, Control T to transform, and I'm going to make this quite elongated, and I'm going to... Somewhere about there, I think. Just to bring up a bit more on this woodwork. I press return. And of course, these are all on different layers, so you can have different intensities. Uh, for this one, for example, we'll take down a little bit. That very first one, we can take up a little bit more if we think we need it. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to select all these lights, and I'm going to drag them into a folder on their own. Double click the word. And we can rename that lights. Now if I take those on and off, you can see how we've added just a little something to there. Now I'm not saying this is the best picture, and it's there's lots of other pictures you could pick where this would be more beneficial. But you can use this on portraits where you just want to illuminate somebody's face a little bit, you know, to try and mimic flash. Or if you're taking a picture a stately home you're visiting you can use this on certain parts of the architecture to bring it up or frames pictures that are on the wall it has 101 uses and it's always really handy to keep the other advantage if you're putting all these in a folder you can change the opacity of the actual folder as well so if you think the overall effect is a bit much you can drop it down that way as well thanks for watching hope you find this useful i'll see you next time